Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well and hopefully you were able to get outside the past couple of days and enjoy some weather in your yards. Uh, not out and about, of course. Uh, but it was great to see some of you when you came up to get your instrument. Uh, we miss you guys so much and we are just looking forward to being back with you and hope that you guys have been getting some practice in at least a little bit um, working on those instruments. Uh, so the topic of today's video is going to be about Microsoft Teams. Uh, we're going to be using Microsoft Teams over the course of the, the remainder of this time that we're stuck in quarantine uh, to do assignments, to chat with one another, um, and to send out videos and stuff like this. So I want to get you guys familiar with how the program works. Uh, but first, let me talk about exactly what it is. So Microsoft Teams is like a messaging service, uh, and you can use it a lot like uh, what we were doing with Google Classroom. Our district wants to push Microsoft Teams rather than Google Classroom. So that's why we kind of stopped the bucket with that. And now we're moving on with, with Microsoft Teams. Um, so the user interface is a little weird at first, uh, but I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through what you're supposed to do and how everything's supposed to work so you know how to use it. Um, and then if something doesn't make sense or it's unclear, uh, you can always feel free to message me or Mrs. Hembrook or Mr. Burgess, we've all been using it and we're very familiar with how it works. Uh, so let's go on and get started. Um, I'm gonna share my screen here. And you should see my craziness that is all the folders on my desktop. Uh, but down here, you need to download Microsoft Teams. Um, and you can do this on Mac or on PC. You can even download the app on your phone. Uh, I have it on my phone as well, uh, but it looks like two purple people and there's the letter T for Teams. Okay, so you're gonna download that and if you need to pause the video here to wait for it to download, then that's perfect. Just join us when you're ready. So I'm gonna go on and open my Microsoft Teams. And the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to sign in. Well, actually all of you can already sign in because you have a Microsoft email account through the school. And that's why we've been talking with you about making sure you know how to access it uh, and you know your username, and your password to get into your school email because that's how you're going to log into Microsoft Teams and that's how we're gonna be able to communicate with you, okay? So I'm gonna go on and log in on mine. and it's going to send me a code because it wants to verify that I'm human and it's me. Okay, let's see. I can put in my little code here. It might ask you to do the same thing if it's linked up to your phone like it is on mine. And you'll sign in. It's going to load up everything. And it'll instantly show you the teams that you're in. Uh, now, we have gone on and added every student into uh, your team by class period. So you'll notice on my interface right here, I have sixth grade brass and percussion. So all of my sixth grade brass percussion students are already in that team. Uh, we've got a sixth grade woodwind team. We've got a seventh grade band team, an eighth grade band team, and a jazz band and color guard team. Uh, so... We'll get all of you guys situated with that. You'll have, that should show up on your screen right here instantly, but if for some reason it doesn't, uh, let me know and we'll see if we can get that fixed. But I, I've gone on and added all of you guys, so we should be good. Uh, so I wanna show you all the cool things that you can do. Uh, so if you go and click on your team, I'm gonna use sixth grade brass and percussion. Uh, you can see all the things that people have discussed. Um, and all the assignments we posted, Mr. Burgess posted a sixth grade warm up video here uh, in the percussion assignment one right here. Uh, and you can view the assignment and do it from there. But there's also another way you can get to it. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, there are files that we can upload into this system. Like Mr. Burgess created a class materials folder uh, for you guys to access. We also have a class notebook. And we will set that up once we get going. Um, and we can basically just have a little notebook for you guys to take notes if I do like a live video um, and we're working through things together and you wanna take notes or if you wanna write something down, that's a great way to do it. 
And here's another way you can access your assignments. Uh, and it'll show you exactly, like it shows me who's turned in assignments um, and when it's due and all of that. Of course, these first assignments we sent out were not meant to be turned in. Um, so if you did, great, that's cool. I'm glad you understand how to do it. Uh, but if you didn't, don't sweat, everything's fine. Um, but the next one we send out will be something that you will turn in. So we're gonna walk through that whole process together. Uh, then you can go to your grades and see what we've given each of you. Um, it even shows us who has actually completed it and who's viewed the assignment. Uh, but here, this will, uh, when you click on grades, if you have a grades tab on yours, I'm not 100% sure that you do, uh, but you should be able to see your assignment grades. But anytime we turn an assignment in and give it back to you guys, uh, it'll show you the grade that you get, just like it did with Google Classroom. So uh, it's, it's pretty easy with that. We'll go back over here to post. Um, and you can, uh, I have the commenting turned off, but there's a couple buttons down here that I do want you to be aware of. Um, there's a couple ways that we can meet with one another. This button down here where it says meet now, you can click that and I can start a new video, a live video, and you guys can watch from this little hub. Or I also have it connected to my Zoom which is another way of doing video and audio. We've been using Zoom to do most of our videos. I'm actually using Zoom right now as we speak. Um, and it's, it's a great video audio tool and it links right into your Microsoft Teams. So if you wanna download Zoom uh, and you can meet with one another on Zoom and, and play quartets and things like that, that is a really neat tool. And I'll, I'll walk you through how Zoom works here at the end of this video as well for those that are interested in getting that. So that's basically the user interface for all the different teams. Yours might look a little different because like I said, this is a sixth grade brass percussion one. Um, now over here on the left hand side, you can set up chats with different people. Uh, you can see like Gracie chatted with me and Owen chatted with me and Layla Andrews chatted with me. Shout out to you guys for checking this system out. Uh, but you can chat with anybody that's in your team if you just got a question or uh, you need to ask somebody something. Also over here, you can access your assignments and you can choose the class that you're in, which you would only have one, most of you. Some of you might have two if you're in the jazz band and color guard class. And you would open that and it would show you all the assignments just like it did in the Teams Hub. Uh, we don't have anything on our calendar here because we've uploaded everything on the band website. So if you need something about calendar, even though it's pretty broken right now because we don't know when we're coming back to school, um, hopefully the 7th or the 20th would be the first day back. But uh, so don't really worry about anything here. I mean, if you want to put something in here uh, to remind yourselves, that's fine. Uh, and all these other tabs are tabs that you would access personally. Um, like if you've made a call to someone, uh, or if you have files that you want to upload, uh, you can do all of that through this activity. So um, it's actually really, really neat. And uh, I'm happy to get you guys in here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, do an assignment real quick. So let's again go back to the sixth grade brass and percussion. And let's go to this 325 2020 assignment. So if I click on that, I'll show you what your view would look like. So this is what you'll see on your screen. It'll say what the assignment is, when it's due, how many points it's worth, and here are the instructions. Go to our teacher web pages to access the assignments. You will need to complete the set of assignments for your grade level and class subject. And then I have linked uh, our teacher web pages right here. So let's say we wanna go to Mrs. Hendrick's webpage. And that probably just opened up. Yep, it opened up in another window. And there's Mrs. Hembrook. Hi, Mrs. Hembrook. And she's got all of her assignments right there. So you would go and find, oh, I'm in the seventh grade band. Actually, I'm on the sixth grade one. So I'm in the sixth grade band. And here are all the things that they want you to do. Okay. So now I'm going to go back over to my Microsoft Teams. And you do the assignment. And then on this screen, it doesn't show it because I'm the teacher, but you'll have the option, uh, there should be a submit button somewhere on this page. And you do the assignment and you submit it. 
and then it notifies me and I grade it and give you feedback. Um, and then so you can see all the people who did and didn't do it. Again, this wasn't supposed to be turned in, so no worries if you're sweating and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't get the assignment. No, you're totally fine. Up the next one you need to do it okay um and and that's really it guys you just uh and you see i, I graded one for sean cook and returned it to him so sean you're probably getting that back uh but you you turn your assignment in and uh then you go back and and do your assign any other assignments that you have and everything's good to go so later today i'm going to post a another assignment and you'll all get it at the same time and uh you'll be able to do that assignment through next week so I hope this has been informative on Microsoft Teams. Um, if you have any issues with the uh, user interface here, uh, please message me and I'll, I'll be happy to kind of walk things through with you. We can even meet video to video if you want to. Uh, I'll be happy to do that. Um, but the big thing is you need to have that school email address. If you don't have your school email address or you don't have your password, you need to go to the DeSoto Central Middle School page you click on email help and there's a big link it says email support uh, and it will walk you through everything you need to do to make sure that you're able to access this stuff okay all right so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for just a moment and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm actually using zoom um, well actually here let me let me share my screen again okay so uh, right here at the bottom of my screen let me minimize this you'll see the Zoom app, and it looks like a little camera in a blue square, okay? And once you get signed up for it, you'll have, uh, this is like the main screen, and you can also download this on your phones as well, it's free. And what you would likely do is if we were having some sort of video meeting conference, uh, I would just say, uh, hey, sixth grade band, here is a code that you can join my meeting with. And you would click the join button. It would ask you for a code. I can't actually click it right now because I'm in a meeting, uh, but it would ask you for a code. You would type that code in and then you would be able to see uh, my screen over here. Uh, and I would be able to see all of your screens as well. Uh, or you can mute your screen if you don't want to be seen. You can also mute your audio if you don't want to be heard. Uh, but it's a really great tool. Uh, I actually got on it with Mr. Burgess and Mrs. Hembrook, and we played a little bit together on our instruments, and it was a lot of fun. And you can do that as well uh, without having to leave the comfort of your home. So uh, Zoom is what it's called, Z-O-O-M. And it's a pretty, pretty cool little thing. All right, guys, so um, that's it on this tutorial video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to let me know. Make sure you go check out our YouTube channel, DCMS Band, uh, and subscribe to that so that we can get all kinds of awesome videos out there to you. Uh, until I see you again, talk at you later. Bye.